Hey team, thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be taking a look at a post from r slash engineering students titled Engineering is high effort and low reward. Oh, also make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. It doesn't really do anything for you, but it helps me out a lot. So thanks if you do that. Scope, Eastern European engineering student in their final year looking for a job. I start to think that studying engineering was not worth it. The effort it requires not match the reward. The job market is awful as well as living standards. If you have a master's degree, had excellent grades, speak English fluently, understand German, attended internships, have work experience, won competitions, don't have any blank space in your resume, have accommodation where jobs are, then you can land a job in a factory, live a minimalistic life in a small apartment, have a 10 years old car, go on a one week long holiday once a year, must not buy the cheapest food. Fair, isn't it? So this is a European engineering student that's about to enter the workforce and they're like, it just doesn't seem worth it, right? I have to have all these things and then I only get this little crumb? What's the point? And while I only have the American perspective, I have seen this, maybe not to this extent, but this sentiment expressed here in the States. I think in the past, engineering used to be looked at as like, you know, you go to college for four years, you get out, you get a job, and that's it. That's the pipeline. You make a lot of money, and then happy days. You are Prince Charming, and you live happily ever after. It's like the end of a Shrek movie. But times have changed. Now things aren't so happy, but they're still ever after. It seems like things are perpetually bad now. And is that true? Well, yes and no. I think things were so good before that now this reduced benefit of being an engineer looks really bad. It seems drastic. Like a million dollars is amazing to most people, but to a billionaire? Ooh, that is tragic loss. And I think that's something that engineers are going through right now, is that things aren't as good as they used to be. And so does this mean it's even worth it to be an engineer anymore? Well, it, it depends, I guess. It depends on your situation. Do you want to be an engineer? I think now it's not just like an easy option you actually kind of have to care a little bit about engineering to get into the field. Because I think if you're looking for satisfaction out of your career, that's going to have to come from some innate desire you have within. The benefits are no longer enough for you to just turn a blind eye to the realities of the job. Everyone has a price, right? And I think the amount of money that engineers used to make was a high enough price to where you were like, yeah, this is fine. No matter what, I love this. But now the benefits aren't that great. And engineers are like, wait, this isn't that good. <laughs> wait a minute, wait, being an engineer, this is not all it's chalked up to be. Because now they've taken off the green colored lenses. That's a money thing. You know, there's like rose colored lenses. So I'm saying there's like green colored lenses for money. You get what I'm saying. But now that money is not as good as it used to be, engineers are second guessing the whole thing. It's like someone that's marrying someone for money. And then once they've been married, they realize, oh my God. This person doesn't have money. <laughs> Wait a minute, I've been bamboozled. The whole reason I got into this isn't even true. So yes, things are not that great, but what else are you gonna do? And I don't mean that as like, a, you're trapped. Ooh, where are you gonna run to now, sucker? But I mean, do you wanna be an engineer? Because there are other options and you can pursue those, but if you wanna be an engineer, this is just kind of the standard now, unfortunately. I think things will get better in the next decade. Like, don't expect them to get better in the next couple years. Like, right now, the job market is in the toilet. So I think now people are just kind of under the mindset of like, hey, I'll just take a job at this point. I've been working full-time for just over two years now. It's been about two and a half years. And still, I don't really know what it feels like to get a hefty bonus. Apparently in the past, like a bonus, you would get a bonus after every quarter and then an end of the year bonus. Those used to be like something that people would rely on. It'd be a hefty chunk of their paycheck. But ever since I've worked, I basically haven't had a bonus. I think it's totaled up to maybe a couple hundred dollars. And in the grand scheme of things, that's basically nothing. So I kind of operate from the mindset of, you know, someone that looks at a million dollars as like a big deal because I'm like, oh, I've never really had anything. But engineers of the past are operating like billionaires where they're like, why are we only getting a million dollars now? You used to give me a billion dollars. And from this post and what I've heard, it does seem like things are worse even outside of America. So again, the question is, what do we do? What does an engineer do in today's world? Um, well, I, <laughs> I don't know. I'm an engineer, so you would think I have the answer. But basically what I've been doing is just, you know, 
staying employed. <laughs> That's a good start. Stay employed. Remain hopeful. I don't know what else you can do. The only other thing you can do, and I've seen people do, is, yeah, consider the career as a whole. Is this even something I want to do? Because if I'm putting this much effort into something and not even getting a satisfactory return, then why don't I just take this effort, put into something I care about, and then maybe get that same return, or better, doing something I love. So yes, we're in a time of doing a lot for a little. So this is naturally a time for reflection. And from what I've seen, people are taking this time to look in a mirror and reflect on the whole situation. The whole situation being their career choice. And I have it much easier. I don't have kids, I don't have you know, a wife, any of that, I just have to support myself. For people with families already, I can't imagine what they're going through. You know, to start over when so many people rely on you, I mean, what do you do in that situation? So morale is at an all-time low. And what do we do about this? I don't know. But who would know, huh? Maybe the comments on this post. So, let's take a look at the comments. Sucks to hear that this is the outlook for many engineers in countries that are not the United States. And this has 591 upvotes. So yeah, Seems like the general consensus is that things outside the U.S. in terms of engineering as a career are really bad right now. My best advice would be to try for jobs in Germany, France, or the U.S. At least in the U.S., the pay would be up there compared to other careers. So there's one piece of advice. He's basically saying if the jobs in the place you live suck, maybe change the place. That's Eastern Europe for you. So maybe this is a known thing? But there is a reply to that comment, and someone said, Is it really, though? I've met quite a few Polish and Slovakian engineers who have reasonably fulfilling jobs. So it seems like a majority of people are of the opinion, or this could just be a classic loud minority, makes it seem like a majority. But it seems like a majority will say of people in Eastern Europe are like, yeah, this is not great over here. But still, it remains the question, right? What do people do? Maybe this comment helps. Listen, man, this is what it's like coming out of school with zero experience. Take what you can get and put some years under your belt. Once you have work experience, you'll be highly sought after and the rewards you dreamed of will be reality. So it seems like, okay, one piece of advice is get out there, get a job, get some experience. This is the universal experience, welcome to it. I don't know if you had other expectations, but unfortunately this is what it is. And their experience is, yeah, do the thing that we all have to do. Wait, you guys went into engineering to get a job? I went because I'm a nerd. I know this is said in jest, you know, this is a joke, but that's kind of what I was talking about earlier. I think a lot of people get into engineering because it's like, oh, that's a nice, stable career and job. It's a good source of income. But there are a lot of people that get into engineering because they're like, no, I just love this shit. And I would love to make a job out of it. So when the career you get into isn't, you know, giving you all those benefits, yeah, you do have to consider, well, how much of a nerd am I, right? Because the reason I got into this thing is no longer there. And I think now more than ever, engineers have to stop and make a decision. And one decision I would really say you should make right now is to subscribe if you haven't already, follow me on Instagram, and like the video. And I will see you in the next one.